the first thing I did when I looked at this offense is I told the kids to look at this as three sets of twos. The logic being that if I could get two kids to work together very well, pick and roll, slip pick, do all things of that nature, and then put two kids in the crease who know how to move as a way to occupy the slides and constantly be a threat, then maybe I could have a chance and really be okay. So the first dodge, number five, sets a pick for number six. Three and four is going to clear out to the top to create space. The side the dodger goes to, the crease man will clear out. In this sense, number six dodges to the left and number three clears out to the low post. One and two shift over to become an outlet. Now let's look at a little twist on this. Number six starts with the ball, except this time we don't want a pick to be set for him. He's got a great matchup that he wants space for. He doesn't want any interference. So number five will clear to the crease. And if you look, I still have my partnerships. One and two is together. Three and four is together. Five and six are together. It's just a different look. To the defense, this can look like a different set, messing up those slides once again. But as they dodge, if you notice, it's a very similar look. Three clears out to the low post, one and two becomes an outlet, and five is still behind in the same manner he was when he set that pick earlier. I love running that two-man game in the middle. I, as a defender, found that so difficult to defend, and many other defenders I've spoken to feel the same way. Watching to be the first slide while maneuvering through picks is a big pain in the ass for a defenseman. The other thing that's a big pain in the butt is defending an open set. Many teams do not know exactly what to do, and the teams who do know what to exactly what to do don't always know how to adjust to it if it happens very quickly. So when I look at this offense, I have number five and six behind. With one simple call, I could call open, yellow, whatever call you use, and then number three and four could spread out. Notice, I still have the partnerships intact that I did before. One and two are together, three and four together, five and six. The only thing that really changed was the two guys in the middle spreading out, but to the defense, this looks like a totally different set that happens very quickly. Therefore, we attack it in the same way we did before, a pick set behind, and a dodger goes through the pick. But now, that backdoor cut is going to be wide open. Different look, different play, different set with a very simple change using the same philosophy. Go with that same pattern we had before, so we're still in our open set, and like last time, number five is going to clear her out, with number six isolating behind. Now if you look at this, we're in what I call a 2-3-1, although my friend from Long Island insists it's a 1-3-2, but we will argue that to the day we die. So now to the defense, this looks like a 2-3-1, a completely different set. However, we know it's just our two guys in the crease spreading out, with one of the guys behind clearing out to the crease, creating space for a good dodge. Another different look for the defense that looks like a different play, when really, for the offense, they know they're just following a few simple rules. The last thing I want to share, which I really like about this offense, is everything I just showed you can also be operated from the midfield, creating a whole new set of looks and a whole new set of what appears to be different plays to the defense. Whereas for the offense, it's the same thing. Therefore, making this really easy to execute and learn. I hope that helped. Let me know what you think.